here. One of our favorite people on planet Earth. Good to see you, Larry Fitzgerald. Good to see you all as well. You get you just smile. You just smile when Larry shows up, Kurt. You just smile. I love this guy. Hey, Kurt, Kurt said he got two more years left in the tank, man. He said he said he said I'm gonna be that bridge guy. He told me he can play, but but the only thing is he he can't be tackled. So oh, can you work that out? Yeah, if you can work that out, I can talk Brendan into that. So uh, how are you? How are you, Larry? How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yes, great and glad to be here. You know, seeing my host city, my home city. You know, host the Super Bowl. Right. It's great. I mean, I wish the weather was been a little bit more cooperative. Right. Um, so, do what memories come back for you when you walk around this town? Um, you know, the building is obviously different. You know, sure. growing, going up, working and playing in, uh, in the Metrodome. But I mean, I remember my first Super Bowl in '92, watching the Redskins and Bills play. That was the first game my dad let me come to, and so it's uh, it's come full circle. Well, I tell you, what, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I know it wasn't here, but let's go back. I mean. I'm smiling for a lot of different reasons, but a lot of great memories in that game. Just tell me your recollection. What 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 jumps out about that game? Um, you know, for you, what what do you think back to? Just tell me about that last that last catch and touchdown and. and when you saw it open up, what, what, were you, what were you thinking? Well, Kurt, you know, I mean, you always harped on, you know, fundamentals and, and using great technique. And, and I was able to use that good technique on that release. You know, when you get two man, you're not allowed to, to get inside. And I was able to get inside leverage. And, um, you know, as you normally do, you know, you put it on me quick and I was able to make a play. And, um, you know, I remember just hoping and dreaming that that would be enough to be able to propel us to a victory. But um, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. Were you thinking that on every step? Like, <laughs> we just won a Super Bowl. We just won a Super Bowl. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, we, we, we were coming down the elevator from our, um, from our spot where we were hanging out in the green room. And as soon as we got on the field, because we were going to do the post-game show straight from there, I will never forget this. As soon as I walked out on the field, I saw you running towards the end zone that we were coming at. And we're like, did he yeah. just, like, did that just happen? They scored a touchdown. Like, that put you guys up yeah. against the vaunted Steelers. Yeah. Why, 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 why don't you give me that? a high five? I was coming in a direction. I just thought it was, it would have been a little bit unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never speaking, forget that. Speaking of that, this scoring and everything, you had one of the greatest runs, if not the greatest run, by a wide receiver going through that playoffs. But there are a lot of guys that play on the Philadelphia Eagles football team that have never had this moment where they're running out on a football field right before a Super Bowl. What advice will you give those guys about playing in their first Super Bowl? Well, I was that same guy in 2009. I had no no idea what it was. I mean, we leaned on our veteran leadership and Kurt and Edger and James and guys who had participated and played deep in the playoffs. I had no experience. So, I mean, I think the youthful exuberance that you have, I mean, it, it kind of helped me, to be honest with you. I didn't understand the magnitude, how big the game was and all the right. pageantry that comes with it. I mean, so I was just thinking, man, this is this this is the game I was dreaming about playing. This is my stage. This is time for me. This is my opportunity. That's all I was thinking. Larry, you've always played with a head coach that was an offensive-minded guy, yes. right? Danny Green and Ken Wisenhunt and Bruce Arians. Now you have Steve Wilkes, a new guy. Have you met him? And yes. what are your thoughts about playing now for a defensive-minded head coach all of a sudden? Well, I, have, I had a chance to talk to him on the phone, and I've also had a chance to meet him briefly. Um, and everything I've heard about him from Peanut Tillman to uh, Josh Norman to Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis, and all the rest of the guys, they've, they've uh, been overly, um, you know, uh, overly um, uh, thank, helpful in terms of what they said about him. I mean, he's been unbelievable in terms of his uh, his character, and I'm looking forward to getting to know him a little bit better. Him and Mike McCoy, Mike um, McCoy's you know, offense. His offensive coordinator. So, um, you know, I'm excited about what the future holds in Arizona. Coach um, Coach does a good job, and everywhere he's gone, he's uh, he's been he's been a wonderful asset. So Larry Fitzgerald is here with us uh, as we're inside this stadium. Uh, moments ago, I think we have footage of Tom Brady approaching a bus. Is that a true story? Do we actually have that? <laughs> Somebody just told me in my ear we have Tom Brady. They, is that a door? Yeah. Was he carrying and the suitcase? Hold on, on a Let's see. Yeah, here it comes. There is Tom Brady. There he is. He's at. That was. Is that it? <laughs> he did not Come have a glove on. on his hand. <laughs> Come on. Wait, which, which hand was his bag in? Come on. I, mean, I, I thought we were. Well, no, did you see? It. He gestured did, with was that, the was that hand. His hand. Okay. All right. Come on. All right, we're still here with Larry. I, right. What I really want to know is, why didn't you tackle James Harrison? 
<laughs> well, come on, wait, hold on a second. Yeah, time out. Time out. Time out. Well, well, before don't, we don't embarrass the guy. Hold on a second. I would, I would never assume a Hall of Fame quarterback would throw an interception in that situation. Yeah, you know, we, like, we I, would. I mean, you know, we would oh, show. You fit right in. Who does that? Who does that? Right here with. I know. Look, this would be right about the time where we would show the video. I know. I was. But we're not allowed to show Lucky Rich right now. But you know what, Rich? But Steve, I think you know what? No more video. But I couldn't sleep last night. Couldn't sleep last night. So I was like. Me? Doodling, and I did some watercolors, and I just wanted to, <laughs> to go through this with you guys a little bit here. Anyway, this is what I, I, I did. This is you, Larry, right? Uh, here. Yeah, yeah. This is the goal line, and I, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. You remember who that guy is, Kurt Warner? Let's take a look. He's still playing. Yeah, he's still playing. He'll be playing tonight. That's James Harrison, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Thank you, Rich. All right, well, uh-oh, <laughs> Kurt. Kurt, what is that? Yes, you threw it to the other team right there, okay? All right, you want to show this? There it is. I mean, All right, you didn't even throw it to Larry. Why don't you throw it to me. Larry? We had, we had, right. we had 10 so, se well, 18 about, seconds. How about this one right now? So, 18 seconds and 100 so there yards. Goes look, at, look at Kurt flat on his face right there. He didn't, he, he, he right didn't, there? He didn't do anything to help us, Mike. Look at that, Mike. I slowed him down for you. Obviously, you didn't do any tackle drills because you face-planted yourself. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Oh, how about this way? Larry. Look, it's Larry right there. Larry. Hey, listen, down. Listen, hey, listen. Oh, hey, Mike, Mike, down. Mike. When I when I hit him finally, I felt like I was hitting a refrigerator, man. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I didn't. Well, it didn't move, when, man. You, when did you hit him? Do you know how much That's grief I could avoid if you would have just taken yeah. him down? There, look, uh, there's when you hit him a little yeah, late. Yeah, That's a little when late, at, the, little late. at the goal line, Larry. Yeah, I thought yeah, you were faster than him. You catch him. And then we have that 30 minute halftime to think about it. Oh my God! You know, thinking to think about it. How about this right here, Kurt? He's crying. Were you thinking about it? Right. He was crying Trust right me, there, man. When I walked into the locker room, the, the way everyone looked at me, like, dude, you just lost his suit. What in the world were you thinking? Uh, neither you or Larry tackled the darn uh, his guy. Head, his head wasn't in the game. Before the game, he was accepting his man of the year trophy. You know, his, his mind was other places, Mike. You know what I mean? He just wasn't with us. That's why Kurt said he was ready to get right. on with the game. <laughs> I usually love having Larry around. Could you leave? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was good to see you. Look at that. Enjoy the I mean, tackle. <laughs> That is Out of crazy. all of them, I mean, you play buses defense? are moving. Buses are moving. Oh, that's my saving grace. <laughs> buses are moving. People, just stay on the buses. All right. <laughs> on the left is a bus, and on the right is a bus, and on the right is another bus, <laughs> and on the left. There's one bus. You know, during the regular season games, you use a first bus and a second bus, right? Are you guys first or second bus? I'm, I'm a second bus guy. There you go. There's Always a second. second. That's a Larry's like bus. We're going all together here. <laughs> all right. We have nothing to say except there's buses moving and there's players coming here. This is just not right. This one in particular is just yeah, not Kurt, right. Yeah, Kurt, I'm not kidding. There's Kurt. <laughs> Did, did, did you change All right, let's that? change the subject. Let's change the subject. Super Bowl uh, Sunday, did you change? Like, cause I, I go on the late Herb's bus. Herb's changing the subject. I, I go on the late bus. But I, I, I was watching people in our locker room to see who went on the first bus. They usually go on the late bus. Because I wanted to say, hey, man, are you nervous? What's going on now? I need you to be right. You know what I'm saying? I wanted everybody to do the exact same thing they had done all year long. But this, it, 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 I wonder how many people change up that routine so they can get more used to this moment. I would say a, a, a few guys would, but I mean, the, the guys that stick with the routine, and you know, as athletes, you're a creature of habit. You do, you eat the same thing at pregame meal. Yep. That's, that's you know, right. I, I sleep with two pillows under my head on my back. You know, the, the, you know everything is the same the, the day before the game, so I, I don't think too many guys would do it. All right, I got to get in here. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, you had your ninth season of a thousand yards receiving your third consecutive season of triple digits in catches you are 389 yards away from surpassing uh last night's uh pro football hall of fame enshrining terrell owens right now you're in between terrell owens and randy moss for third all time you would be second all time behind jerry rice are you contemplating playing next i know you said you were talking about playing for a defensive minded coach you you gonna do it what do you think I mean, I'm, I'm contemplating yes absolutely I mean I'm, I'm excited about what's the, what the future holds um, obviously there's things that need to still you know happen um, you know in terms of you know uh, you know personnel you know draft and things like that to help our team can improve but I'm, I'm confident that the uh, Steve Kahn and his group are going to do a good job with that so you're talking about a quarterback I mean I, I, 
I think yes, he's talking about a quarterback. Position that I think we still same remember position, same position that everybody, everybody around the league, you know, the teams that are, you know, jockeying for position. Well, you're not getting our guy, okay? I'll tell I, you that. Why not? Now, real, Coach, real quick, you okay? Kirk, but you take Kirk no, Cousins. No, we're going to keep him. <laughs> no, we can get him for cheap, too. Kirk will come back for about... His cousin? Vet Middle. Kirk's cousin? Kirk? Kirk's cousin? We'll get you back for him. take a lot more than that to convince Brenda. A lot more than that. No, but just one more one more follow-up. So if it is a rookie quarterback that you like or think that you can work with, is that something that... You would find feasible i know this is all hypothetical here yeah, but it's, all, it's all hypothetical you know I, I i haven't made any definitive decisions you know it's i'll be ready in about a week or two all right that's okay because you definitely still have a lot left in the yeah. tank there's no question about that i appreciate let it. me yeah. just ask you real quick because i know you were around randy moss when you were growing up and obviously getting into the hall of fame last night just give me your thoughts on him as a player and what you learned from him well i was extremely excited when i, when I saw him uh, his name announced last night and, and you know saw how emotion he got when he when he got the knock on the door uh, randy you know did so much for me in terms of his support and uh, and the confidence he gave me but you know you, you couldn't learn much from randy because his physical tools are so off the charts you, right, know, you right, couldn't right. you couldn't physically do what randy did um but uh you know his, his gifts and and, and and what he you know um taught me and, and the support he showed me when he came to my high school football games i mean it was things i never forget it's funny you say that because if there was anybody that was close to as good as Randy Moss is going up over the top of people and catching the football yeah. it was you so I don't know if you just had those gifts or maybe you That's learned that from him along the way have. and That's usually pleasure, pleasure, you I have that he was with Chris Carter Randy Moss both are in the hall Michael you Irvin, will be you, in Mike, the hall Michael you came come, you, you came up and yes, helped yes, us out yes, many many times, years man. crashed one of my way runners yeah 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 little Michael came up they broke my way runners and stuff like yeah they broke my sons did he get out of there before before you knew about it you found out later I gave my I gave my I gave my Mike wow. the check and uh, I I never heard anything back. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mike. That's Mike. Hey, hey, oh, hey, oh boy. We had a great time, man. We obviously on the in the summers, man. Come up, man. Go to camps and go to Larry's house and ride them way runners, man. We were, whew, we had so much fun, man. To just yeah. talk football. Yeah, Mike. You said he's, you said he's cheap. Yeah. So we we would go to dinner and uh, and the waiter would bring the bill back and Mike said, oh. Only thing I do is pay compliments. <laughs> <laughs> compliments. I was a guest. I, like I was the guest. I was not supposed to pay. I was the guest. That sounds exactly like right. <laughs> By the way, that's a great line. <laughs> hey, Larry, good to, good, to good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, usually the next thing for you is like, it's where in the world is Larry Fitzgerald? You got plans for yeah, your I'm going to so, I'm gonna go to Seoul career for the Winter Olympics. Okay, know, good. Um, and then and then after that I'm, I'm going to go to Norway and Iceland. I'll be my I'm by hundreds hundreds country so okay. I'm forward to it. Well, at least you're getting ready so, for that with it 6 degrees below yeah. zero. <laughs>